So do you always have an itch? Don't always. At the beginning of the album, we didn't, there wasn't much itch going on. No? It was quite flat, so it's quite itchless. But you need the itch. You need to have probably have an itch to go away on holiday. You know, <clears throat> and sit in the sun. And I think also the radio idea is kind of like it's um, you know. Uh, it made sense with all the music we had. It's, it's a bit all over the place. So it's tuning and dial. So that's that kind of, we're a modern radio. Yeah, we're yeah. not the individual stations, we're and the whole it, thing. It's uniting all the different, all the different flavours and all the different sounds that we're bombarded with. And Which is modern life like that. You know, it's not that you just, if you come from Holland, you don't just eat Dutch food. You'll have Thai, you'll have Italian, you know. Oh, let's try some Moroccan food. We're living in this kind of, multicultural, multilingual society and we can get whatever we want on the internet. It's kind of, we're exposed to all these different things. But and it's it, just a bit of a mirror of that. But is it then hard to, is it, what, does it make it harder to, to, to choose the right stuff? Well, you, yeah. You have so many choices. Yeah, yeah, but I think modern life is like that. It's like, what do you listen to? I mean, we just take little pieces of different things and hopefully make it digestible. You know, it's kind of, we're not trying to do a, a whole Eastern European album, but we'll take a, a touch of it because a bit of a, a flavour of that is nice and it, and it seems to have something genuine and interesting. But do you start with the flavours? The songs, do they start with the How long is this culinary year? Uh, <laughs> 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 the energy's going to go. Do you start... No, go, sorry. No, 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 well, we have some flavours at the beginning and then some flavours are added later, like Hush Boy. Like, it, it didn't have much taste at the beginning, and we were trying to make the right flavour for ages. And, uh, you know, but some things like Hey You, that had the, had the very much the feel, the kind of texture of the whole thing early on. But do you have the same taste now when you, when you, when you work together, or is it still...? Not always, no. I mean, sometimes... Do you, do you have an example, maybe, of a song, or...? Big pun. Do you do you do you have an example of your different tastes tastes um, on a song or on a I don't know bridge or sound of a song? Do you do you have an example on this album of different tastes? Yeah. What collide? What uh, yeah, collide or not? Or maybe you well, you, you, well, you talked about it and uh, then you. Uh, hey, you! I, re I remember that Simon was very worried that it was becoming like a musical because sometimes I get try and get over theatrical and try and do. Go, like go over there and over there, which it did in fact become. Yeah, absolutely. but it but it's actually <laughs> hopefully it's it's held back and stayed in some kind of form. Well, I, I remember listening to because uh, thinking this is ridiculous. Because <laughs> we, we we had a few tracks actually. It was the first time we had some tracks mixed in another studio for this album, and um, and the guy who mixed it MP3 would it back to us. So in a way, that was the first time I kind of listened to, listened to the track without being there on the mixing desk. Listened to it just as a track, and. Um, and it was Hey You, and I remember thinking, this is like, a, it is like, I imagine people swinging from the chandeliers <laughs> and, you know, all kinds of, you know, Edwardian men marching around and, you know, bears doing dance routines and, and, um, but I actually thought this is wicked, it's really good and it sounded, yeah, it sounded really modern, it sounded really powerful, so I felt really excited, so um, it just goes to show, you know. But at first you, you, you hate your dad. I'm generally averse to, there's a, uh, yeah, Felix. Over dramatism. Felix has a slight, yeah, has a te definitely tendency to, you know, slightly, um, yeah, over, just overstate and and. Uh, and you? Very operatic. Uh, understate. Yeah. Understate. Which is probably our characters. So hopefully they kind of balance each other out. Hopefully they're just state. <laughs> <laughs> just create a state. Um,